In this video, you learn arcs and quarks in Python. Arcs and quarks sound like two aliens from another planet, but they are not. In fact, they are just the recommended names to use when you want to receive function arguments as a tuple or dictionary. Let me show you what I mean. We start with arcs. Here is a function that creates a meeting. It has a single parameter called subject. I call the function with argument project planning. And here you see the result. Now I'd like to add a date for the meeting. I pass a year, month and day to the function. An error occurs. I add three parameters for year, month and day. Everything works again. The meeting is created on a specific date with no specific time. Now I want the function to also support a meeting at a specific time. This is where arcs can help us. The first thing I do is replace the datetime parameters with star arcs and print the arcs. I call the function. This is the result. I call the function a second time, now with the time added, and this is the result. And now it becomes clear what happens. The non-positional arguments that are passed to the function are packed in a tuple. It is important to know that this is not because of the word arcs. You can name this parameter anything you want. The trick is in the asterisk. This is what packs all non-positional arguments in a tuple. And now you can count the items in the tuple and create either an all-day event or a meeting at a specific time. Now let's see what star star quarks does. Here is a function that draws a circle. The default colors for the fill and stroke are red and yellow. I call the function and you see the result on the screen. Now I would like to change the color of the stroke. I add a keyword argument to the function call. Python gives an error. The draw function does not know how to handle keyword arguments. I add a quarks argument. Again, the name quarks can be changed to anything else you like. It is the double asterisks that does the magic here. This packs the keyword arguments in a dictionary. Let's do something with the dictionary. We can check if certain keys are in the dictionary. If so, we overwrite the default colors. Since we pass the keyword argument stroke equals green, the stroke color is now green. And that is what arcs and quarks do. I hope this helped you. See you in the future.